So, so we're like just a number two, and it, the worksheet says graph for the given domain. Well, they say the domain is all reals, so I can use any numbers I can think of. I look at my graph over here. It's marked from negative eight to positive eight. I'm probably not going to use all of that, but I'll stay in that range. So let's do zero first. That's the easiest. So 0 squared divided by 2 gives me 0. So 0, 0. Let's do uh, 2 next. I'm going to use even numbers because it says divide by 2. And I want to keep things a little easy for myself. So 2 squared divided by 2 is 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Let's do negative 2. So negative 2 squared, which is 4 divided by 2, or 2. And now I'll do the 4s. 4 squared divided by 2 is... Why did I do these? I wanted to do even numbers, because I knew I would be dividing by 2, and that gets rid of having to deal with fractions. Now you don't have to. Like, just to make my point here, Let's say I want to use the number um, 5. I can do that. 5 squared divided by 2 is 25 divided by 2, which is 12.5. You can do that. Well, that still works. It's in the domain. Remember, the domain for this problem is all real. So any number I can think of is legitimate. I just wanted to pick numbers that I thought would be easy to kick out. Now my graph. Here's 0, 0. 2, 2 would be right here. Negative 2, 2 is uh, right here. 4, 8. So 4, 8 is here. Five, uh, 12 and a half is up here somewhere. And it looks like when I graph it, it's going to look something like that. Like a V. But it's going to have a bit of a curve down here at the bottom. And that curve becomes more evident if I put more points to illustrate that. The idea of 5 being the minimum is good for lines. Or actually, 2 will get you a line. 5 is generally good for a parabola, but it, it, sometimes it, it does look like it's just a straight V when really it's a curve. Now, this one doesn't actually ask you to come up with the range, but to talk about it as part of the conversation, what is the range? Are there any numbers I don't use in this graph? Anything I'm not going to hit? Or rather, what numbers do I use? If I look at all the y values that get taken into account, that it could possibly be outputs, there will be no negatives. So my range is going to be all the y's greater than 0. What about 0? Is that in the range? Yeah. Yeah. There you go.